Hi, I'm Aaron Little and this is Performance Edge. And in today's video, I want to talk about a, a, a trend that I'm starting to see more and more often on, on Facebook and, and discussion forums and other social media type sites. And that is this, what I consider, or at least hope is coming from a very pro Second Amendment stance, which I support very pro Second Amendment stances, but this is the whatever possible physical altercation, I can handle it, I have a gun. Right? What I think of when I hear people make those comments is the, the adage, if all you have is a hammer, all your problems look like nails. Because this idea that a firearm is the answer to whatever altercation, that kind of assumes that every physical altercation is a lethal force situation. And I just cannot believe that that's true. Right? That doesn't take into account the misunderstanding between friends. It doesn't take into account the guy that just wants to punch you in the face because he thought you were looking at his wife. It doesn't take into account the, the drunk uncle at the family reunion, and it certainly doesn't take into account the, the parent with early stages of Alzheimer's who no longer recognizes you and has become combative. If the only tool you have in your toolbox to deal with any of those people is to shoot them in the face, then you kill someone that didn't need to die. And that will be a very sad day for yourself and a lot of other people. So we need to train. Yes, carry a firearm. Yes, train with a firearm. But train hand-to-hand -hand skills. Train how to strike people and stop them from striking you. Train how to take people down and stop them from taking you down. Train how to survive a ground situation and fight your way back to your feet. Train how to do all that with firearms and edge weapons and impact weapons. Train deterrence, avoidance, de-escalation. Right? And know when to use what. Know that every physical altercation is not a lethal force situation. Train that way. Train that way to protect yourself, your family, and the people you care about. And if lethal force is called for, know it and do what you have to do. But also know when it's not called for and do what you have to do. I'm Aaron Little. This is Performance Edge. I would love to hear your thoughts, questions, comments, ideas in the space provided below. Please consider sharing our video if, if you like. And I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to our channel. Thanks.